Hello and welcome to another Serenity Pod video. Under my last video, there were three comments about my VTuber model. So for those who ask, yes, I've made my model. And even though I wasn't planning to make it, if you are interested in seeing how to make your own VTuber model and how I've made mine, just write in the comments below and I might make such a video. Okay, now back to the teapot. This video I'm going to be showing you how to sink things under the surface level, especially in the water. Uh, like the most basic thing is you need to have a waypoint under the surface, otherwise you are not gonna get anywhere. Because when you are even looking from far, you can't see what is under the surface. So what we know, when we know what is under, it's only when we are here, thanks to the waypoint. Also, you are always going to have the grass texture on top. You can't do anything about it. It is what it is. Yeah. Another of the basics on the cool isle is that, I mean, you can get the water surface even on the other parts, but they're having their specifications. And one of them is that when you're building on this one, you can build only where the path would be. Like you can see here, there are the boulders, you can't remove them. They are gonna be there no matter what you do. So you can be building only between them. I mean, if you want your things to be seen. So if you place something here, you are not gonna see it. So we are building around these parts, except here's that small den, which you can see right now. Yeah, this one. I've already placed some furniture so you can see how it looks, but we'll go over the basics right now. So, I'm having already here pre-made, we think it will be sinking, but to start with total basics is that you need to have a platform. To have it on the level of the water, I'm starting with the platform on 18, and I'm gonna put another platform, which we are just gonna take this one that is already pre-made with the things, and also small path you can use even other things they are going to be pretty much the pointers for you to know where you are placing the things and helping you to sink them on the ground i'm also going to be using later uh, the small lantern which is also a very good way of getting the pointers and you can even leave it later on the top because it can be looking very nice in few builds depends what you are going for so yeah that's for the basics. Now, to sync the things, you create set. You take the path and the platform. Now, you click edit set. Move it on top of the platform that we have with the height. And now, you are just gonna lower this platform. Now, depends on what you want. If you want the things to be totally under the water, you are gonna put it as low as possible. Now, if you want to have it exactly on the water surface it's gonna be 5.5 and if you want to hit it above i recommend 5.8 5.6 for this platform would mean that it would be still uh, under the water a bit so 5.78 is the perfect one but we'll go for eight so it's really above it okay now you just edit set and you place it wherever you want it to be, which in our case, let's say it's going to be here. Another thing that you need to bear in mind is that if you are planning to be making more complicated builds, you can't overleap them already under the surface. So no matter what you want to do, yeah, like here I've overleaped buildings and plants and things like that, you need to do it above the surface. Now to the more complex builds, is what you want to do, is that you want to prepare everything beforehand. So I'm just making it in the smaller scale what I've already prepared here, but to show you how it works. Okay, I'm gonna take that small lantern pointer. Okay, creating set. All three of them. Edit the set and put it on top. We'll 
Yeah, it's not gonna work because of the other thing it again. Okay, so we'll just let me do this 15. 15. And it said and place. Okay. Now, before you start placing uh, anything here, you are again gonna place it on the height that you want. So in our case, since we don't want it to be in the water, which will be 5, 7, 8. Them all down. Yes. And now you would place whatever you want there. So let's say you can, of course, shake the things since it's on the surface still to overleap them. Okay, and another. Yeah. And now you just edit the whole set. And you put it, for example, here. See, you can overleap the things when they are touching each other under the surface. So, if you want to make anything like that, you need to make it on top, as I said. Firm, safe, we'll see how it looks there. It's fine. Mm, you can't even see them, because I think I put them too much on the side. Yeah. That's why I have the other waypoint here. So where are they? Okay. So not got visible here. Go here. Okay, and move you too. Mm, for now. Okay, and teleport. Yeah. Now you can see them there. This is the positioning I was saying. You really need to do many trials and errors to place it exactly where you want it to be. Okay, we don't want these platforms there. So we are all gonna edit the set, put it back up. Yes, and now I'm just gonna remove it all. Also you, because we don't need it. Yeah. Okay, now, it's already set I've prepared, edit the set. And let's place it down. Okay. And we'll see how it looks. It could be not just a bit, but a lot in the back. So we are gonna move it. It said, can you just move it? Maybe like that. Save. Yeah. As you can see, it depends what furniture you use, how you place it, you can make whatever you want, the possibilities are endless. If we wanted to make it look like here's a water kennel, I could have just placed the buildings, you know, more on the side of the platforms, and like that you would have clean kennel with water, and you can put the boats like everyone is already trying out and such things. But yeah, for the basics, I think that's it, except actually there's one more thing and that's that I haven't showed you how to put things much lower and we will do it here because you see that it's very deep, you can put things lower. So we will do one last time with one, one last platform and we will put, set it much deeper and we will do that like that, we'll put this one. 25 for example you can put it even on 30 depends how deep you want the things to be i'm choosing platform we'll take a smaller one we'll take the path i don't have the small ones anymore so the big one will do i mean bigger 
I'm going to put a tree there, which doesn't matter that much right now. Mm. Yeah, this one. I'm going to shake it a bit. Okay, now to create a set. You hit the set, edit the set, you go up, now you go down, and it depends how low we want it. Let's say this is enough, so it's not having issues with the things that are under. Now I'm going to edit the set and just place it there and save. You can see that the tree is much, much lower than everything else. And like that, you can sink even buildings or whatever else you would like. So that's now really it for the sinking tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If you have any questions, just ask me in the comments. And if I know the answer, I'm gonna answer. Good luck with your builds and bye.